Okay, I'll see you when I get home. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to school. But you're not going to school today. I'm not. No, you're going to get a blood test. What? So, as you've probably guessed, I used to be terrified of needles. And you might be thinking, so what? Lots of people are terrified of needles when they're children. And to that I say, no. No, I mean I was really terrified of needles. Like, straight up, sh** my pants, squeal like a little pig, horrified. The earliest memory I have of being stuck with a needle was when I was being taken for a blood test in Wellington. Of course, I didn't know that was the reason for the appointment, and was mostly calm. I just treated it like any other doctor's appointment I had up until that point. And that's when... it happened. Okay, Harry, just look at me. It will be over quickly. Why do I have to look at you? Someone catch that pig! Yep. Well, obviously exaggerated for comedic effect. That is how I would react whenever someone tried to stick a syringe into my arm. And for years I would have this reaction whenever I had to go in for a blood test or an injection. No, you can't make me go! My parents tried various things like getting me to look away before the needle was stuck in and applying nerve-numbing cream to my arms to make the prick less painful. But that didn't do much to make me feel at ease, and I still hated the whole ordeal. My fear of needles was so bad that I skipped several vaccination shots at school, which in hindsight may have been a dick move to the other students. I also gave blood donations a solid pass. Not that I think it's a bad cause or anything, I just didn't feel comfortable with anything sharp being stuck into my arm for any period of time. Also, with some of the stuff I put into my body, I don't think anyone will want any of my blood. Just saying. So in short, that's how I would react to even the mere thought of a needle being stuck into my body. And I'll admit it was pretty irrational and silly. And a lot of friends and family say, I'm a pretty fearless person. And yet there I was, freaking out over, well, that. It's like, hey, I do SCA Heavy Combat. Beat me up with a rattan stick, I don't care. But anything involving needles is a big no-no. Thankfully, I'm not like that anymore. So, what changed? Well, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how I was sent to the hospital after my jaw had been broken in a violent mugging. Well, part of that fun experience involved being given several checkups by the doctors before I could get an x-ray done. Which also meant I had to have several needles stuck into me. So, why didn't I panic this time? Why didn't I freak out or try to talk my way out of it? Well, at that stage I was already on several painkillers. And even then, my jaw was in so much pain and shock that my body wasn't really registering anything else happening. And after a bit of time went by with one needle stuck into my body, I got used to it. And something clicked in the back of my head that made me think, Huh. Well this isn't so bad. Since then I've gone over my fear of needles. I mean, I still hate it, but I can now have one in me without squealing. And I was able to get my COVID vaccine and booster shots without any worries or resistance. Okay, Doc. Hit me. You cured. So, next time you're feeling nervous about getting a blood test or an injection, just relax. Could be worse. It could be this guy. Also, over the last two decades, syringe needles have gotten a lot smaller down to microscopic size. So now it just feels like a wee tadger instead of the world's biggest prick. Oh, thank you very much. So, with that said, thank you for watching, and special thanks goes to Jelly Jess for lending her voice to this video. 
Go check out her channel if you haven't already and subscribe to her. She's got a lot of amazing content over there. As for my channel, I think you guys already know the deal. Like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Hi Harry, I hope you're doing well, and I hope these lines are okay, and um, yeah, I really can't wait to see this video.